Hello my dear student, I am Dr. Somir De and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss one question uh, from Gauss elimination method. So in my last lecture I have, I have I had discussed about the Gauss elimination method but here I have considered a little bit different question. Now try to understand this. Question is find the value of lambda and mu. Find the value of lambda and mu for which the system of equations x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 6, x plus 3y plus 5z equals to 9, and 2x plus 5y plus lambda z equals to mu has number one unique solution no solution or infinite solution so here the main main objective to solve this question is that you will get some information about the process already you know and here you will get some information about the how to decide no solution how to decide unique solution and how to decide uh, unique solution okay for different values of lambda and mu okay now try to understand now so here i have considered same question okay so write down now we rewrite rewrite the system of equation in matrix form so already you know so it will be first coefficient x coefficient 1 1 2 2 3 5 from y and 3 5 lambda okay x y z is equals to 6 9 mu so basically this is nothing but a x equals to b clear same process so here one unknown you have okay so what is a this matrix basically it is a coefficient matrix okay this x y z is a variable and b right hand side part now you check here i have used double x one is here another is here so make sure this one is capital and this one is small okay now you need to write next line you write down the augmented the augmented matrix is what is your augmented matrix basically augmented matrix is all uh, is a march with a and b okay so now you write down your augmented matrix from already you know from uh, from the last video so again I am discussing so that means when you combine with A along with B that is called augmented matrix now let's see 1 1 2 2 3 5 3 5 lambda so this is your A when you combine with B that is 6 9 mu so this is your augmented matrix this is your augmented matrix clear now you decide your target what is your main target our main target to transform this matrix into this form that is 1 2 3 6 0 a b c 0 0 d e so if you have then automatically you may write that is your x 
प्लस टू वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इज इक्स टू सिक्स एंड ए वाई प्लस बी जेड इज इक्स टू सी एंड बी जेड इज इक्स टू ई ओके सो फ्रॉम हियर यू मे राइट जेड इक्वल्स टू फ्रॉम द लास्ट लाइन ई बाय बी ओके सो इफ योर डी इज नॉन जीरो इफ डी इज नॉन जीरो देन व्हाट अबाउट द वैल्यू फॉर ई सो ऑलवेज यू विल गेट यूनिक सॉल्यूशन ओके सो इफ डी इक्वल टू जीरो E equal to zero. That means both are coming zero. That means this portion will vanish. So there exists infinite solution. Clear? Is it clear? If d equals to zero and e any value of e, there exists unique solution. If d equal to zero and e also becomes zero, then that means this line will vanish. That means uh, three variable, two equation. There exists infinite solution. And uh, suppose e equal to zero, another condition is there. If e equal to zero, but d, sorry, e not equals to zero, but d equal to zero. It means what? Value by equal to zero means what? Undefined situation. So it is undefined or no solution. Undefined situation means no solution. Yeah, so you want to implement this concept to solve this problem. Now try to understand. So first row is fixed one, two, three, six. So here you may write R two dash is equal to first you write down which row you want to change. That is R two by which you want to change R one. Clear? Clear? Okay, then you check the same number you have. You write one and one. Okay, now both are same sign. Write minus. So you know the calculation. It is coming uh, zero, one, two, and three. Next, you write down R three dash equals to R three and R one. Same process. Same process. is it clear to all of you how to get this 1 2 3 1 2 3 from the from here okay is very easy that is you write down 1 3 5 9 9 and 1 2 3 6 6 if i subtract it how much is coming 1 2 and 3 clear so this is a process okay next is now you have a r3 want to change by r1 okay So now you check one is as with the R one and two is as with the R two. Exchange it. There is two should be here, one should be here. Both are same sign. You write minus. Okay. Now we need to perform. Then you multiply R three with one. That is two, five, lambda, and mu. And it's again multiply with two. Two, four, six, and twelve. If I subtract it, it is coming zero, one, lambda minus six, mu minus twelve. So from here you may write zero, one, lambda minus six, mu minus twelve. Okay. Next is. Now our target. So first target is achieved. So this is zero. Now our target to make it zero. Now you may write same process. One, two, three, six, zero, one, two, three. Okay. Now you write down R three dash. Same process. These two calculation for this matrix only. Now this calculation is for this only. Okay. There is no confusion. Okay. So please write down R three and R two. So you want to change R three. This row you want to change by using R two. Okay. So here you have one one. So you need to write one one. Both are same sign. So you should write minus. 
same process if I can simplify. So ultimately you have uh, 1 lambda minus 6 mu minus 12 from here 1 2 yes 1 2 and 3. So from here you may write minus 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 ultimately it is coming 0 lambda minus 7 lambda minus 8 and from here mu minus 15. So from here you may write 0 0 lambda minus 8 and mu minus 15. Okay. So now we have reached our goal. Please check. Clear. Please check, please check. Okay. Now, now again we rewrite again, again we rewrite, rewrite the system of equation. Again, we derive the system of equation from here. So, from here you may write x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 6. y plus 2z is equals to 3. Lambda minus 8z is equals to mu minus 15. Okay. Now try to understand is very simple that means all calculation based on this lambda and mu. So this is number 1, this is number 2 and this is number 3. Clear? Now try to understand the logic from 3. What you have? Z equals to how much? Mu minus 15 by lambda minus 8. Clear? Now try to understand logically. Now try to understand the condition position. For what about the unique solution? So your denominator part should be non-zero. So number 1 for unique solution, unique solution, okay, so lower part should not be 0, lambda minus 8 should not be 0, it means what, lambda not equals to 8 and, and Lower part should not be 0 and any value of mu. Any and any value of mu. I think it is clear to everyone. Because if you want to find value of z, so lower part that is denominator part should not be 0. And any value of mu, whatever value you want to substitute here for mu. So that means for this system of equation, unique solution exists for lambda not equals to 8 and any value of mu okay number 2 for no solution no solution for no solution there are two situation you have one is numerator another one is denominator okay now you try to understand if numerator 0 and denominator non-zero like suppose if I have 5 by 0 suppose you have is it possible to find value of z no that is undefined situation so, okay then you write down lambda minus 8 should be equal to 0 for no solution and and mu minus 15 
should not be zero from here so ultimately what is coming ultimately is coming lambda is equals to 8 and mu should not be 15 for this condition there exists no solution that means in this condition this system equation has no solution clear next you write down infinite infinite solution now when you can see infinite number of solution so already you know i can give some numerical example for better understanding so if you have x plus y is equals to 0 so how many variables you have 2 how many equations you have 1 so from there exist infinite number solution why because y is equals to minus x different values for x we will get different different value of y so in this situation there exist infinite solution so from here it is clear that if the number of variable is higher than the number of equation then there exists infinite number of solution okay now if i can consider lambda minus 8 equals to 0 and mu minus 15 equal to 0 that means what both you are considering both 0 so that means this line will vanish if you consider lambda minus 8 equal to 0 and mu minus 15 equals to 0 that means this line will vanish so how many questions are will be left so only these two clear that means there are three variables but you have two equation in this situation there exist infinite number of solution so from here it is clear that if lambda minus 8 that is a jet coefficient is equals to 0 and right hand side part is 0 then there exists infinite number of solution so in this situation in this situation lambda in this situation in this situation lambda should be 8 and mu should be 50 is it clear is it clear to all of you lambda should be 8 and mu should be 50 that's all clear is it clear to all of you just you remember only one message to all of you just you check if i have uh, if i can write z is equals to e by d number one unique solution for unique solution d should not be zero and any value of should not be zero and any value of e okay number two no solution For no solution case, D equal to 0 and E not equals to 0. Already I have used it. Okay. Number 3. Infinite solution. Then, then infinite solution means both. D equal to 0 and E equal to 0 okay so this is the logic okay thank you for watching my youtube videos please do subscribe my channel and please write some comments okay thank you my dear student thank you